I'm going to talk a bit about social media and community engagement, what that's about. Let me ask you the question. When we talk about social media, what do you think that means? Facebook. Facebook. Twitter. Twitter. Brilliant. Anything else? Okay, I'm going to say it's not about Facebook and Twitter. But it is about sharing views. So if you look at what the definition of social media from my perspective, it's actually allowing people to produce the content that they want to produce in the way that they want to produce it. So actually, once you take that model, then all sorts of weird and wonderful things come into play. Blogs. People know what blogs are? What's a blog? A blog's not like diary. A podcast? That's right, audio recording. Video, pictures, and I'm including newspapers in this. If the definition of if the definition of social media is allowing communities to produce the content that they want to produce, then that has to include newspapers. So that's a quite an interesting model because I'm actually saying that social media isn't necessarily purely internet-based technology. Okay? What I'm also saying what I'm also suggesting is that Facebook and Twitter are not by definition social media. They're social networking sites and they distribute content, but they're not by definition social media. Although there is a certain element of content production. But also, not only do you have social media distribution networks around Flickr and Twitter and YouTube and all the others, what you also have is community radio stations, community local newspapers, community websites, internet radio, internet TV and internet blogs. So what that says to me is, you don't need the BBC. What that says to me is, if you've got a message to send out, you can send it out all by yourself. And actually, you don't need mainstream media. In fact, the opposite. Mainstream media needs you because you've got your voice and your story. Well, that's quite an interesting concept. All of a sudden, we have authority. We are, we are people here who can say what they want to say. Now that for me is a very, very, very powerful tool. You can all have a voice and you can all have a say. Um, now, I'm going to talk a little bit about a program that we run, which is around community reporters. And community reporters is all about supporting people to have a voice. So you can see here, we've got numbers of community reporters around here. Most people are from, are from the communities. And the idea is really that the community reporters will go out, have a voice, and tell the stories outside their own communities. What we then do is we accredit the community reporters with badges, which one day those badges will be more important than the NUJ. The plan is actually to become more important than the NUJ. And you can see here, those are some of the community reporter badges that we create. Now, the plan is to have about 2,000 community reporters and develop what we term the voices in the community, i.e. local voice coming up from local people. So how do we use that in terms of engagement? And what do we mean by voice? The first thing we mean about voice is a quote from a community cohesion strategy in 2005. Now I know it's not cool to, to be looking at labour like a document, but I thought this was a brilliant example when we talk about social media and community engagement. People generally base what they believe from what they have experienced or heard through the media. In this sense, perception quickly becomes reality. So in other words, it's the perception of people and perception of communities. This is another quote from the chair of the technical uh, organisation in Stockholm. And this said, I believe that we need more... So when we talk about social media and community engagement, what we're actually saying is you have people here producing content, they're giving an example of some of the stories, you have distribution channels for all these, all of which are largely free, although that's a bit more expensive, but what it actually is about is about local voice, local people saying what's really taking place. So instead of getting headlines and media saying this community is no good or that community is no good or this voice or that voice, actually, folks, we have the power. 